morning YouTube <clears throat> well I come out here to out to the brother's place again to kind of do a review on these motos tires and uh, looks like we got some guys out here working on clearing the pond there's gonna be a much I can do maybe sit here and talk a while watch these guys work we had a I shouldn't say we always say we it's kind of a common air <clears throat> my brother had another company that was supposed to do this pond and Man, they've blown him off for almost two years now. So I got the number of these guys, and man, they were right out here. I guess they want to work. So anyway, it's gonna be finally nice to get a pond in here, get everything going again, get some trails back in here, and get a uh, main thing for me getting our shooting range back. So anyway, I'll talk a little bit about these tires while I'm out here. <clears throat> these things have been, I don't know, I got mixed emotions about them. When I come out here and I play around in the dirt, they're, they're great. I mean, because they're a more of aggressive a tire. But um, I tell you what. On the way out here on the, the gravel <laughs> if it's like loose gravel you know especially like right after they graded the roads and things like that this thing is worse with these tires than it was the stock tires but you know if you can get into the point where they've you know the roads wore down and it's more of a hard pack thing they work great uh, I got some old back road asphalt roads you know to where they're not real even and they're a little squirrely on that but if you get on the highway they're okay and uh, so I don't know I noticed the other night when I was riding with my daughter on the back with two people on just going down the city streets you know you, you could tell it, it, it wanted to walk a little bit but you know it wasn't bad so I guess for my style of driving, what I do, I think it was a little much of a tire, but I think if you're one of those guys that were going to hit a highway and go to trails and ride, then they'd be a really awesome tire. But if you're going to do a lot of gravel roads, I think maybe I would, I would try something else. I know they've got like a, a hybrid tire that might be okay, but... You know, it's just all trial and error. You know, you can only do what you can do, and and uh, that's that. But I think I'm going to get up here out of this guy's way. But yeah, for definitely out here though, this slick stuff, it's it's been great. It really has. I mean, I don't I don't worry about the bike sliding out from underneath of me. And holy crap, the thing just picked that stump right out of the ground. There it goes. So, uh, you know, and, and that's kind of what I was looking for. I don't, I, I kind of like coming out in here riding a little bit. And I think once I get some trails established after these guys get a pond in here, it's going to be nice. It's just this part of it right here has been a long ways into making. So, I would say take into account what you got, and uh, you know, like I, I know the woodsman, you know, he's the one that kind of recommended these, and they are probably outstanding for what he does. You know, not so much what I I do. Um, you know, maybe I'll get used to them a little bit more. 
I can I can only hope. So I mean, I've only got a couple thousand miles on these things now. So you know, we'll wait and see see what happens. So uh, I'm gonna get out of here for now.